It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Wake up, Hong Kong. The Spirit of God is with you. Do you have a problem? We have the solution. And today I want to begin this program showing to you the power of transformation, the solution of any problem. Let's watch this beautiful story. I'm gonna be with you right back. Hi, we have with us here today Zenaida Tupino, and she's going to be sharing with us some problems she was facing in the past that she was able to find solution for. So Zenaida, thanks for joining us today. Please let us know how was your life before coming to DCKG. Before I came to the church, mm -hmm. I was uh, suffered a uh, headache. I was depressed. I had a nightmare. I fall, fall in the dark pit. And I have my both leg is swollen and painful. And I go to the doctor, but uh, they only prescribe me a pain reliever, but it doesn't work. So when you said swollen, how swollen exactly? Yes, because the pain is really uh, painful. Mm -hmm. My knee and until the is the same size. The ankle all the way yeah. down was the same yes. size. It was really swollen. Yes. And that must have affected your work. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and headaches. Were they just normal headaches? Uh, no, because mm. that is uh, very painful. Mm. It looked like uh, my migraine. Migraine. Yeah. So it's not a normal it's headache, hard. which is yeah. much. It must have been very difficult mm. to work, right? Yes. So that was your health. Any other areas of your life that were uh, problematic? On the other hand, my marriage is on the rock. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought a tricycle for my husband, for him to have a source of income mm -hmm. to help the needy at home. Unfortunately, he leads him into affair in another woman. How come it led him to have an affair with another woman? Uh, yes, because of Barcadas. So he started doing the tricycle thing? Yes. He started having barcadas. Because was he like that before? Was no. He? Yeah. She's not like that before. He was responsible before yes. carrying something. Yes. It must have been a shock for you then. Right? Yes. How did it affect you? It affected me too much depressed because I don't uh, expect that uh, he's doing like this. Mm. Yeah. Of course, you came to Hong Kong to yes. work for your family. And that yes. was the plan, right? So. Yes. Um, did it affect uh, your children at all? Yeah, because actually when I, because of this problem, I spent uh, 2,000 Hong Kong dollars mm -hmm. to buy loads, cards, to only to monitor him. Mm -hmm. And this problem, uh, it affects the studies of my eldest daughter. And it uh, it comes to drop her lesson. She completely stopped yeah. because she was so affected yes. as well, right? Yes. And the $2,000 dollars in, oh my goodness, yes. it's a lot of money to spend uh, on phone calls, yes. but I guess the trust was so broken. Yes. Yeah, that's why you did it, right? Yeah. So, uh, aside from that, anything else? Uh, in my bigger business, also went to bankruptcy, mm -hmm. and I have debts around more or less 50,000 Hong Kong dollars. Mm -hmm. And I use this for building a house and for the investment, but not succeed. Yeah. And 
I so that was all the different areas of your life affected. How about um, anything else financially you had problems with? Or? After coming to UCKG, mm -hmm. I persevere. I use my faith intelligently, mm -hmm. and then I make a bow into the altar to surrender all the life of my husband and me as well. And then I found the solution of all my problem that uh, continue coming to the church. I need to learn how to practice like that and then practice so to put into action what you yes. learned when you were here. Yes. What kind of things did you have to do? Like so you do for yourself, towards your family, what did what action did you take? I sh I uh, I do in my ways that uh, I pray to God that uh, He will guide me what to do so that I can be able to overcome all those problems mm -hmm. so that uh, I can so that the, my family will uh, recognize that uh, I'm not like before mm -hmm. because sometimes I am very I'm very angry with them because they are not following my instruction like that. So you're a bit bossy, something yes. like that. You want them to follow and if they didn't, yeah. they get angry. <laughs> so, does that mean you started to work on yourself to stop being bossy, something like that? Uh, before, mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, you started to work on yourself, right, yes. when you came to CKG? Yes. What did you do exactly to, what did you let go of in yourself? I let go everything about my pride like that. Mm -hmm. And then I let it go, mm -hmm. and also my husband, uh, her humanizer is uh, no more, mm -hmm. and my anger also no more, mm -hmm. depression no more, mm -hmm. headache no more, and I anoint also my botany uh, about the holy oil, mm -hmm. and I use also the blessed water. To anoint it, and then that's it. Uh, you received your healing. Yeah, I received the healing on my knees. Mm -hmm. And with your husband, so no, no longer womanizing. Um, what did you do for that? Like, um, I mean, now your communication is okay now. Everything yes, is okay. It's yeah. okay now because he has also uh, three kinds of. Uh, Yeah, he has a carpentry and driving and farming. That is her three source of income to help me to overcome everything because we we agree together to help others. Yeah. So do you still call him? Do you still spend two thousand dollars to call him? No more. No more. No more. How come? <laughs> yeah, because he changed. Okay. He forgot about the humanizing. humanizing. Did you, was it, I guess you forgave him already, Yes, right? I forgive yeah. him. Was it easy? Yes. Was it hard? It's hard because before I really cannot uh, accept it because mm -hmm. I know that this man is good mm -hmm. because he is a Christian also before. But bef because of uh, I'm away from him, in three years, that's the time for him to situation, yeah, yeah distraction. To make, right? Yes. And uh, how about your finances today? Yeah, my financial today is growing up, mm -hmm. not like before that upside down. Mm -hmm. I have also already a house, mm -hmm. and I buy another lot, mm -hmm. and no more no debt. Yeah, I'm Perfect. free. Your daughter, she's okay now? Yes, my daughter, okay. they have also 
employed and they have their own family. And you yourself, how are you inside today? Uh, I'm free. Mm -hmm. I am very happy because I have peace and joy inside of me because I really found the solu problem solution in the UCKG solution. Solution to your problem. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing with us. It's a wonderful testimony. Yes. And thank you for joining us. in this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me. We're back with all of you. What amazing story. And now we can understand that everything is possible and you can find help. You can find the solution to this situation, this problem that you are going through. You are watching us in this very moment and you say, I'm going through hell. I don't know where I can find help. I don't know where I can find the solution to my situation. My marriage is broken. My finances is destroyed. You're watching us now and you have a lot of debts. And your debts are just increasing and increasing. And you don't know what to do. You, you made a lot of loans and now you have financial crisis, financial problems. You don't know how to solve the situation. Listen carefully. There is a way out for your problem. There is a solution. You went to the doctor and the doctor told you bad news. Share with you bad news about your situation, your health condition. The doctor told you that there is no way out for you. You need to go on treatment your whole life till the end of your life. We're here to say the impossible can become possible in your life. Your problem to all problems, there are solutions. And you can find the solution to your life. You can find help to your life. Like this amazing story we watched together. We know that there is a possibility for you to restore your family, your marriage, for you to be healed. You can find help to your life. Let's read together this Bible verse. In the book of Psalm chapter 121, in the verse uh, 1 and 2 says, from where does my help come? And the answer is, my help comes from the Lord. Well, so you see, the help to your life will come from the Lord. You are looking uh, to find help and solution in many ways, many places. You went to many places to find help, to try to find the solution to this problem. But up to now, you didn't find any place. So we are here to share with you that there is one more chance for you to get to the restoration of your life. We have here Hong Kong, this place, UCKG Help Center. And we are here saying to you, in the same way that you watched this amazing story, in the same way that lives was being transformed, were being transformed and changed here in the UCKG Help Center, your life can be changed. Your life can be transformed as well. The only thing that you need to do is come to here. Because here, at this place, you're going to find the strength to fight and wisdom to deal with this situation, to deal with your problem. And then I'm sure you're going to find the solution to this situation. We have a crew of pastors, a team of counselors here. And when you come to this place, the help center, you can sit down with them to... Uh, share with them your situation. And I'm sure uh, one word, one counseling can bring the light to your life, can bring the solution 
to this problem. So don't wait, don't postpone uh, this opportunity that you are receiving right now via this program here. Don't skip for tomorrow this chance. If you are going through difficult moments, you are depressed, you don't know what to do with your life, you are about to do something that you know that it is a big mistake. I know you are desperate. I know you are lonely. I know that in your mind you are being bombarded by thoughts, bad thoughts in your mind, trying to convince you that there is no way out for you. But in this very moment, a light is shining to you. A way is just appearing in your path for you to change the situation. You can leave, you can find help, you can leave the situation you're going through. And now, I will say a prayer. But first of all, I want to open all the hotline. We have the hotline here. You can call us. You can send us a text message. You can uh, message us via inbox message in this very moment. If you are desperate, if you are about to have a, a, a measure in your life, that you know that you're going to regret about it, you know that there are people that they love you, that they depend on you, or maybe those voices in your head are saying that no one cares for you, but they are wrong. There are people that they care for you. And now I would like to ask you to call us. One chance is waiting for you. Call us right now. Send us a message. We're going to reply to you. And this situation will change. Now, if you can, Prepare a glass of water or a bottle of water. I will bless this water. And when you drink this water, you shall find peace. Peace that you never had before because you're struggling for a long time. You are suffering for what? More than 10 years, right? So when you drink this water, you shall find peace. And then it will be the sign that this is the place that when you come, your life will be totally transformed. You're going to find peace. You're going to sleep at night today. Something will happen. Some sign, some sort of sign will come to you. And you're going to know that God is your help. The Lord is waiting for you to change this situation. Now is the moment. If you believe, let's pray together. Father, I pray in this moment together with many people. And I know there are people praying with me that they have no peace. They have no joy. They have no pleasure in life. The only thought that comes to their mind is to give up, to quit. But now, through this program, I know you're touching their life. I know you're giving a chance for them to change everything. And may this water be hope, healing, peace to those who are praying with us. When they drink, may your power touch their life for them to receive a sign. And this sign will be a turning point to their life. I bless all of those who are watching us are struggling their family, love life, 
finances. They have problems. But I know that they are about to find the solution to their life. I bless the water and I bless everybody. If you believe, say, Amen. Drink the water by faith. Well, now you are blessed. How do you feel now? One thing I know, you're going to receive a sign, a sign from God that He is moving to change this whole situation, okay? On this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, especially on Sunday, you're going to have the day of the encounter with the peace. For you who needs peace in your life, you're feeling crushed. If you want to find peace in your heart, as I told you, you can contact us, you can call us, you can send us a message. But if you want to join us on this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, you can message us right now because we're going to give to you the direction for you to get to here, to the Yusukeji Help Center. And here, you're going to find the change for your whole life. And I know that you're going to have a happy life, a life full of peace. Okay, we're concluding here this program. Tomorrow we'll be back here at the same time sharing with you life. Sharing with you the chance for you to get peace to your heart. Have a good night, amazing night. See you next time. Bye-bye. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Do you want out? That's fine with me!